Hey guys, Sable VGC here, and welcome back to another episode of Crazy Climbing. Today, we're gonna kick off things with a brand new team featuring Tapu Lele, Mega Manetric, Greninja, Kyogre, Incineroar, and Ultra Necrozma that's going to start off in its Dusk main form. So, jumping into things at 1664, so hopefully, after this team, we can jump into the 1700s. I mean, I don't expect much, but you never know. This team has a few cool gimmicks. We have roleplay on Greninja, so we can kind of just go Greninja Ogre if he switches in Groudon. Well, that's too bad. We also have, obviously, the Greninja Lele... Not the Greninja, the uh, Ultra Lele that can just sweep things that are unexpected. But we are going to find our opponent, which is a Motionless from... I think it said Texas with a rating of 1796, I think it said. Either way, pretty high rated opponent to start off today. And immediately we see Neveltal. So I'm definitely probably not going to bring the Necroz Malele combination. But I definitely am liking the Greninja, Ogre, Incineroar, and uh, Manetric here. I feel like those four are the right four. I could make a case for Lele though, instead of Incineroar. But I feel like Incineroar is just better. It can, the fake out stops Trick Room. Allows us to pivot around a little bit more. I am going to go straight for the Greninja Ogre with Manetric and Cinnara in the back. Now I'm hoping I made... <laughs> I don't remember what my ability is on this Manetric. Hopefully I picked Lightning Rush. I don't remember what the other one was. <laughs> I did not check when I bred it. <laughs> I don't even know if it gets another one. Does it get something else? Either way, we got Greninja Ogre coming out. Okay, so we have multiple options here. Depending on if he's faster or not, we have options. We'll have to wait and see though. So Intimidate's gonna come out, and I am indeed the faster Ogre. So it's just a matter now of who does he fake out. You mean, I mean, he's gotta fake out Greninja, right? He has to. I don't know how he wouldn't fake out Greninja. His Kyogre's doing nothing. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to expect him to fake out Greninja here. And now it becomes a question of, does Greninja live a P-Blade? So what I am going to do is I, I believe I have, do I have a move that will make me re less weak to Ice Beam? Or less weak to P-Blade? I do not. Um, so basically I could map block, but it's not going to get off before the fake out, so that's useless. Roleplay is useless, so I'm going to get faked out, so I should probably switch. But I don't really have a switch in. <laughs> like, Manetric and Incineroar, ne neither of them want to come in. So, I am just going to stay in. And I am going to go for the roleplay water spout. In case he thinks to himself, hey, I have no real reason to, uh, no real reason to fake out here. Groudon's just going to protect. So we might not actually see a fake out. So I could just kill something right now. Yeah, so no, uh, no fake out. Alright. Greninja transforms into a water type. Get that roleplay off immediately. Very nice. Greninja now has Primordial Sea. It's permanently a water type now, which I'm okay with because, you know, we're in Primordial Sea. Obviously, you're going to see Groudon switch out next turn, but that's okay. I still don't know why he wouldn't just click Fake Out. Like, I feel like Fake Out P-Blades, and, like, that's a really good turn for him. Maybe he's a bit over-predicting there. Either way, Incineroar goes down. We're in a bit of a uh, better spot now. Less pivots for him. I feel like next turn I have to swap Ogre out into Incineroar, depending on what he brings in. So I'm going to go into Manetric. I am going to check my uh, Manetric's ability, though. Hopefully I got that right. Because <laughs> honestly, I didn't even think about checking. I was just like, oh yeah, good IVs, let's use this one. <laughs> does it get another ability? Please have Lightning Rod. It does have Lightning Rod. Okay, Minor Heart Attack avoided. So I am just going to click Skull. Hit the Groudon. Obviously Groudon's probably just going to switch out, but Manetric comes in. And takes the electric type attack just fine. Manetric is in. He's gonna switch out Groudon, that's fine. I do get a good. Uh, Manetric's positioning here is also really, really good. Coco's gonna Volt Switch. He cannot Volt Switch because, you know, Manetric's Lightning Rod. I'm gonna get my special attack boost, and now I have a pretty good, uh, pretty good board position. Big damage that- oh yeah, I get the burn. <laughs> Can never go wrong when you get the burn off 
I, I mean, it's 30%. In Pokemon, 30% is 100%. Sludge Bomb will always poison. Uh, Scald is always gonna burn. I'm going to go Greninja into Incinera. And I am gonna Mega this turn. And I'm gonna Volt Switch. I'm gonna Volt Switch off the Coco. Because I feel like Evil Tall would be the one to swap back into Groudon. So I'm gonna go Evil Tall. I'm gonna Volt Switch off the. Uh... Okay, match was forfeited. <laughs> I mean, I think uh, we got our gimmick off pretty well. So we'll jump into another one. Depending on how long that one is, we might do a third, depending on. Because uh, that was pretty quick. But good start, considering our goal was to hit 1700, and now we should potentially be one win away? Maybe 1680 after a win like that? We'll find out. No need to save that battle video. As fun as that was, it'll be on YouTube forever, so no real reason to save it. And we are at 1686, so we're close. One more win might just do it. One more win might just do it. We're going to find Swan from the United Kingdom. I definitely just butchered that name, and I apologize. But this is a, a little bit of a throwback. I just actually ran this on the last few episodes with the Dual Primals and the Jump Luff. Different, uh, different with the Lele and the Mawile, but still a relatively similar team. So I'm kind of expecting him to go Trick Room. Now the question is for me, how do I stop the Trick Room? Once again, can I not just lead Greninja Ogre? Like, what does he do? I don't think he can stop Greninja Ogre. But at the same time, I do want to bring Duskmane out here. Huh. Incineroar might also not be a bad idea. There's so many Pokemon that I want... That I just, I don't know if they're the right call. I definitely do not need Manetric here. There's no reason to have Manetric here. I don't need my Mega. Dustman's going to come for sure. Because I feel like if I can get outside of Trick Room, I can abuse that. The issue is I can't just simply lead Tapu, uh, Greninja Ogre. Because if he goes the Sun Mode, I'm in trouble. But I am going to go for it. I think I kind of have no choice. Do I go Lele Necro? Yeah, I'll bring Le Lele Necro as well. I guess we'll go with this. I'm not too sure if these are the right uh, four. But, you know, we can hope and pray. I think my game plan is either Ace to stop him from getting Trick Room up, or to B to stop him from clicking Spore, uh, stop him from clicking Sleep Powder with Jump Luff. If I can get both of those accomplished, I think we're going to be able to get to win this game. It's just I don't think I can. He's going to go Lele Groudon, which is honestly okay by me. Now the question is, am I faster with Ogre than the Groudon? Same thing as the first battle, which one of us is faster? I am faster, which is perfect. So he's going to think his, hopefully think that his Groudon is relatively safe. I'm expecting to go down to Focus Sash with my Greninja, live, get roll play off, and then just Water Spout and win the game. That's my plan. Hopefully that can work out for me. I don't see a reason why it would. You know, it doesn't work. No, but even if that, yeah. I was going to say he could set the Kyogre, but Water Spout's still going to kill Groudon. And I'm still in the rain. Like, dude, I don't see a way he stops this. I mean, Psy Shock crit into Ogre would put, it, put my Water Spout into a range where it's not going to kill Groudon. And then we have trouble. But I am going to go for the role play, and I'm going to go for the Water Spout. It would be pretty cool if we actually get this off twice in one episode. I honestly... Okay. It's not even Scarf Lele. Okay, so now if it's really slow Lele... Like, if this is a slow Lele, we're killing two mons here. But I don't think it's going to be slow. It'll probably be fast. It'll probably go first. Probably get a Psy Shock off. Hopefully a Psy Shock off. Well, hopefully a Moonblast into Greninja. That would be better. Moonblast, please go into Greninja. Into Greninja is perfect by me. That's fine. Kyogre is going to click Water Spout. And that should take both knockouts. I have no reason why it wouldn't. Sash Lele. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. I was about to say, maybe it's not Sash, but no, it's definitely Sash in order to live that. So Lele hangs on with his Focus Sash, but all of a sudden we're in a pretty good spot, if I would say. Groudon gone, I think we've done pretty much our goal. We've accomplished our goal there. So Jump Luff can't sweep anymore. Bronzong's in, but Bronzong's not going to do anything. What I am going to do is I am just going to go Scald, hit the Tapu Lele, and click Water Spout. I have no reason not to do this. If he protects Lele, Bronzong lives, he gets Trick Room up. 
but he doesn't. Now the question becomes, does Bronzong live the single target water spout? Full power. From a 252 modest special attack Kyogre. I cannot see it. If this Bronzong lives, good for him. This Bronzong did not live. <laughs> wow. Well, this was fun. <laughs> he just DCs. <laughs> Alright, we take that as a win, and I am going to go one more, because we're only 10 minutes into this episode. I feel like an a third one of these wouldn't be bad. Like, if it's another one this quick, we should be fine. We had both... <laughs> one opponent was respectful and forfeited, the other opponent just like, Nah, I'm going to DC. Now, I mean, he his internet might have legitimately disconnected, but I just feel like... <laughs> I feel like in a scenario like that, his internet did not disconnect. But either way, disconnect from my opponent. We're still only 10 minutes into this. We'll go for another one. If we can get this off a third time, I'll be happy. I can't see us doing it three times in one episode, though. Now, I don't know if that put us above 1,700. So we're just going to have to win here to make sure. Hopefully, we can actually find an opponent. That would actually be pretty nice. I have no clue if we're going to find anybody. Everybody's scared now. They're like, yo, this guy's running Roleplay Greninja. We can't beat that. We have no answers. Like, surprisingly, I think this is actually a pretty solid... I don't want to say solid team, but I think it's a solid concept. <laughs> like, I don't think the team is very good itself, but I think the concept, like with the Roleplay Greninja, beside a pretty fast Kyogre, is probably a pretty decent concept that can win some games if built properly. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find anybody. <laughs> There's no way we're finding somebody, right? Do I try again? Or do, I, do you guys just want to end the episode? Yeah, I think I'm going to end this one here, guys. I, I mean, by the time I find somebody else, we're going to be past, like, we're going on, like, 25, 30 minutes. So, either way, that'll be it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I apologize for that long gap at the end. But either way, I'll see you guys next time.